All right, so we're going to modify this rank algorithm that we had before to do what I suggested. It's going to return a uh, kind of slightly sorted -er list than the one that it was given with regard to some value v. So there's a lot of ways to do this. Some are cleaner and more efficient than others. I'm going to do it the way I'm doing it just to be simple. All right, so this is, um, this is a very simple idea. All we're going to do is we're going to keep track of a list of values that are known to be smaller than v that are in L and the ones that are bigger than V. We're going to loop through all the values. Anytime we encounter one that's smaller than V, we put it in the smaller list. Every time we find one that's bigger than V, we put it in the bigger list. And then we glue them all together. First the smallers, then V, then the bigger. Now this sort of plus equals a list construct, it's not immediately obvious what the running time of this is in Python. Uh, in fact, I think it's probably not constant time. But you can create a version where, where each of these steps is constant time so that this entire uh, routine runs in big theta of n because all we're doing is we're touching each of the values in the list to construct a new list. So let's run this and see what it does. All right, seems to be done. 80, here's 84. And you'll notice that these are the all the elements of the original list. 84 is here. Everything to the right of it is bigger than 84. Everything to the left of it is smaller than 84. So we've partitioned the list around 84. 